Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3GameMan.com and today I'm looking at the Silverstone ECU-01 USB expansion card. Included is the card itself in this plastic bag. As well as an installation CD and a low profile bracket. So what's this card all about and why would you really need one? Well, it just gives you the functionality of adding more USB 3 ports to a system that either has USB already or one that doesn't, provided of course that it can accept this card because it is PCI Express. It comes with two 19 pin super fast connectors here on the end, five gigabits per second each, so up to 10 gigabits on this, and you'll notice here they have a SATA power connector. The USB 3 controller that they use is an Etron EJ198, and that will give you those super fast speeds. Again, this card is capable of 10 gigabits per second. Of course, that's five gigabits times two because you've got two of those ports on there. To give you some idea how fast USB 3 is, now these are theoretical speeds, of course, but USB 3 is five gigabits per second. USB 2 is 480 megabits per second, and USB 1.0 is only 12 megabits per second. I don't know about you, but any device that I buy these days has to be USB 3. It's so blistering fast in comparison to even USB 2. Now this card also supports UASP or USB attached SCSI protocol. This means that it's going to be really super fast, but even if you cannot use UASP, then it has turbo boost, so you're pretty much covered either way with this. Now, you may be wondering, okay, well, I don't have any USB 3 connections on this side, on the back of the case when you install it. That's not a big deal, because, well, although it would have been nice to have that there as well. You have these two 19-pin USB connectors. You would have to purchase an optional USB connection from here. There's a number of them. I'll list them on the screen, some of the ones that Silverstone does sell, so you can get some idea. You basically connect this card into a a PCI Express slot, then connect the SATA power, and then the USB 3 connectors, whatever they may be. It could go to a front USB 3, you know, either a three and a half inch or a two and a half inch drive bay device that will give you USB 3 functionality so you can connect thumb drives and other drives to it, but you would need to do it internal. There's no real external functionality right out of the box with this unit. Now this USB expansion card is really not going to excite many people. And some might say, well, why do you need it? It's irrelevant. My computer system already has USB 3. Well, again, you might want to add some more. Or if your system does not have USB 3, <laughs> you're going to need this ASAP. The card itself is really, really impressive when it comes to performance. I mean, USB 3, hands down, is a winner. USB 2 was okay, but the difference between USB 2 and USB 3, well, it's like night and day. From my experiences, you'll get between 10 to 20 megabytes per second speed-wise, depending upon the device, of course, with USB 2. But with USB 3, you're going to get upwards of 80 to over 100 megabytes per second of real-world performance. Now, as for performance, well, it's going to vary dramatically. Like, for example, some USB 3 thumb drives are super fast, some are not so fast, and that applies to USB 3 three external drives. They could be mechanical or they could be solid state. So I'm not going to perform any kind of results for this particular card because I think it's kind of pointless. We all know the real world kind of transfer speeds for USB 3 and they are very, very fast. Now as a USB 3 expansion card by itself, it is super awesome, but I would have liked if they had, you know, a couple of USB USB external connectors on this and it would have been nice if they included some kind of you know USB 3 connector on it so you can get going right out of the box but I have to say this is a kick-ass product until next time take care